Bishop Edward Malesic of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Greensburg is being moved to the Diocese of Cleveland. Every change in my life has come new blessings, and I cannot wait to see what blessings are waiting for me in this new diocese, my new home. Pope Francis made the announcement uh, this morning. Ross Gadotti's live tonight with reaction and details on what's next for the diocese. Ross. Good afternoon. Yeah, Bishop Malesic's new appointment came as a bit of a surprise to many in the diocese, but those who have worked with him and know him say they're happy for him and he will be missed. According to the Diocese of Greensburg, it was a call last week from the Papal Nuncio in Washington, D.C. that let Bishop Edward C. Malesic know he needed to start packing his bags. Bishop Malesic received that phone call from him in which uh, the Archbishop conveyed that the Holy Father Pope Francis had named him Bishop of Cleveland. The announcement coming in Bishop Malesic's fifth year as the head of the Diocese of Greensburg. I would describe it as a bittersweet day. Bishop Malesic's ministry has seen the diocese weather the Catholic priest's sex abuse scandal, the scourge of heroin, and now COVID-19. For those who work with Bishop Malesic, they tell me his organizational and leadership abilities are impressive, but his understanding of his role as a shepherd is his greatest attribute. At his heart, he's a priest. Oh, uh, that's a big W uh, for Cleveland. You know, they, they got one in the wind column by getting uh, Bishop Malesic. Diocesan parishioner Ralph Bell tells KDKA Malesic's common touch is what set him apart when a Greensburg Central Catholic High School student died unexpectedly last year. He was talking to all the parents, talking to all the students, uh, you know, and, and, and just consoling everyone. And what a wonderful man. However, Malesic's appointment to Cleveland hasn't gone unnoticed, especially for those whose Sunday routine means mass than watching the Steelers game. He, he probably knows a little bit about that relationship and knowing the Holy Father is probably smiling a little bit, but knows that Bishop Malesic would be the best diplomat to bridge that gap between the, the Steelers and the Browns. <laughs> All right, so who's going to replace the bishop? Well, that's up to the Holy See of Rome. The Pope will, in fact, appoint someone, and that usually takes some time between six months to a year. In Greensburg, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.